Welcome back to Poland Daily History. In this segment, as in the other programmes, we're looking at Poland's geopolitical situation. And we're going to talk specifically now about Józef Matskiewicz, who had much to say about Poland's geopolitical influences. And I'm joined in the studio with Albert. Albert, welcome back. Józef, a lot of people will not be very familiar with Józef Matskiewicz. Would, could you say a few words about him? Absolutely. And it's a, it's a funny thing that people are not familiar with him, and this is the case. Uh, uh, his brother might be more renowned. Well, that's Stanisław. Stanisław, yes. The cat, or cat, as Poles usually say, Matskiewicz. And Józef is very, very much forgotten. His, even his books are not really reprinted all that often. And that is a shame because I would argue that uh, both in terms of his, his insights as well as uh, just pure technical skills in writing books, his literary skills, he was probably one of the greatest, if not the greatest, Polish writer of the 20th century. And I say this as a big fan of speaking of Herbert. So, uh, so this means a lot. Praise indeed. Yes. <laughs> and, and yes, and Matskiewicz is very much forgotten. Um, because he, he he was an extremely controversial figure, and on a on a ideological or, or belief level, and he was also not really uh, easy to like. He was not very likable. There is that saying that while his brother in his brother's veins, uh, it was Zubrówka that uh, that flew. Uh, in Yusef Matskevich veins, it was vinegar. Right. So he he wasn't a happy-go-lucky kind of person but a, an extremely insightful writer, nevertheless. And, and of course, at the time, some of his views were not really popular. I mean, I think during, during, during the war, he was of the view that the attempt to restore Poland to its, its pre-war borders was actually not a realistic um, objective. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, he, he, he was a perfect storm of reasons why many would not like him, and he indeed was... Um, he was disliked by, so to speak, the majority for the, for most of his life. He was uh, during the occupation. He was uh, well. At, at a certain point, there was a mm, execution scheduled for him by the Polish underground state, by the Polish Home Army, um, because he well, Matskiewicz basically Józef Matskiewicz, <clears throat> and he, he 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 states that clearly in many of his books and, and articles. He was of the belief that Poland um, is committing a, a, a spectacular suicide in the Eastern Front, Polish Home Army, by deciding to uh, very much align itself with the interests of its uh, Western allies, uh, which manifested itself by, for example, Polish Home Ar Army, uh, unfortunately, to an extent, cooperating with the Soviets, with the Soviet uh, paramilitaries that were working, uh, that were that were operating uh, behind the German lines, and at the same time uh, waging a continuous war against the Germans. He was of the belief that this is suicidal, that while Poland should not side with Germans and, and go blindly with them, they should nevertheless realize that after a certain point, after Stalingrad and after Kursk, the Germans are losing. They will lose, they will be overtaken by the Soviets, and that will absolutely not be better than the German occupation. And that made him vilified, that made him vilified, uh, alongside the fact that he, he published about a couple articles in a daily that was published in, in Vilnius uh, during the German occupation, which was, uh, which was very much looked down upon. But it also allowed him, for example, to be the very first Pole to visit Katyn, the excavation yes. side. And of course, and of course, he was. I think he described himself: "I am an anti-communist by yes. nationality," which, of course, would not obviously have endeared him to the uh, probably he didn't know at the time, but as the, 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 once the Soviet Union after the war was, was, was sort of took over the, essentially the effective government of, of the whole of, of, of this region. Absolutely. Well, he said, I, I, I'm quoting here, I might forget, but I believe he said um, uh, his nationality is anti-communist, his country of origin is Eastern Europe. Uh, he's a writer by occupation and uh, counter-revolutionary by belief. And especially the, him saying that his nationality was um, uh, was Eastern European and not Polish also did not endear many of the more nationalistically inclined Poles. 
and this manifested itself. I mean, him him saying that he's he's from Eastern Europe manifested in his uh, in him coming to to defend uh, many of the ethnic minorities and criticizing how the how pre-war Poland, for example, approached many of the of the ethnic or sectarian uh, frictions that occurred in the Polish society. So he really made sure that communists hate him. And because of his crit criticism of, of AK, of their actions, pretty much made sure that uh, the more uh, patriotically uh, inclined strata of the Polish society also dislike him. And yet, ultimately, he, his, his analysis of, of the geopolitical uh, situation was, was, was probably the correct one. It was the correct one, but um, he, uh, some say about him that he was, um, uh, he's a writer for the adults, pisarz dla dorosłych, as we say in Polish. And I think what that meant is um, he, he wouldn't, he wouldn't tow, the, tow the line to, to myths, to national myths or to sacred, sacred beliefs. Like, for example, the, the right decisions undertaken by the Polish army in regards to the German-Soviet war. So, so that was a that was, uh, distinctive quality of his. Well, Albert, that's been, that's been very helpful. A, a writer not very well known, and hardly surprising when I think it's fair to say that under the communist regime from about 1947 to 1990, his books weren't even available Absolutely. Uh, in Poland, so it's hardly surprising. Uh, more people don't know about him, but uh, interesting fact is they are. It's hard to get them, but they are available, and some of them, uh, for example, Droga do Nigond, Road to Nowhere, have been translated to English. So I couldn't recommend it enough. Okay, that's a, that's a great note on which to end. Thank you very much, Albert. Thank you.